Hello, this is Rena Gates, renewed action against HIV AIDS and other sexually transmitted infections. Welcome to our public outreach and educational program here, HIV AIDS Awareness Revolution. Be warned, a lot of the images we have here today are very graphic, so view at your own discretion. Today, we're going to be talking about the link between STIs and HIV. Many STIs make it easier to get infected with HIV and vice versa. But how does this happen? Some STDs like syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes can cause open wounds or ulcers in the genital area which may be visible or not. These areas of skin openings provide an easy entrance point for HIV. While some STDs don't cause open wounds, the presence of the infection can cause the body to increase the concentration of CD4 T cells in the genital area. It has been well established that increased concentrations of these cells can provide HIV with a favorable target for infection. People infected with an STD also have increased concentrations of HIV in their seminal and vaginal fluids, increasing the possibility of HIV transmission. But how do we know this? Well, a study showed that men infected with HIV and gonorrhea have 10 times more HIV in their semen than men infected only with HIV. There you go. That's the proof. Major concerns. Syphilis, gonorrhea, herpes, and chlamydia. These are the STDs that can increase HIV infection risk. In the United States, nearly 20 million new STD infections occur every year, costing almost $16 billion. In 2016, the bulk of the infections were chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis. The rate of STD infections is particularly high among gay and bisexual men who account for the highest rate of HIV infections in the United States. And gay and bisexual men account for almost 90% of all primary and secondary syphilis cases. They accounted for 80% of all male STD infection where the sex of the partner is known. For this reason, all sexually active gay or bisexual men should be tested for syphilis, chlamydia, gonorrhea, and HIV at least once a year. More frequent STD testing between every three to six months is recommended for gay or bisexual men at high risk. Example, those who have multiple sex partners, use recreational drugs, or practice condomless sex. Benefits of STD screening and treatment In the presence of an STD diagnosis, people should receive treatment as soon as possible, not only to treat the infection but to decrease the risk of onward transmission. How can STDs be prevented? The only way to avoid STDs is to not have vaginal, anal or oral sex. Sometimes even extended skin-to-skin -skin contact can lead to infection. If you are sexually active, be in a long-term mutually monogamous relationship with a partner who has been tested and has negative STD test results. Use latex condoms the right way every time you have sex. Let your doctor examine you for STDs regularly or if you notice any STD symptoms on you or your partner. Some STDs can be treated. There are others that can't but can be managed if detected on time. Always remember, prevention is better than cure. Get tested. Avoid risky sexual behavior. For more information on, on these sources, please see our site at renegades.org. Remember the following take-home points. 
there is a higher risk of HIV if you have an STD. Having an STD and HIV can increase the risk of spreading HIV. STD treatment may help slow the spread of HIV. HIV therapy does prevent you from getting another type of STD. Condoms are still the single best way to reduce your risk of getting an STD, including HIV. Now you have the information, tell the world. Spread the news to others, you can save lives just doing that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.